Hey friends, Ash here with Chin Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some sexy night in fragrances. So these are fragrances that are really alluring, inviting, and sexy that you might wear on a night in with your significant other. Or, you know, if you just want to sit around your place and smell yourself. Got a nice little mix of fragrances here, some newer, some older. Let's jump into it. Let's check them out. That's my new theme song. All right, let's kick things off with an Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Lome fragrance, but it's not the original La Nuit de Lome. It's La Nuit de Lome L'Entense. 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 This one's got iris, violet, vanilla, and tonka as some of the notes in the fragrance. And if you want to break this down in a really simplistic kind of way, just a really short Cliff's Notes version of this scent, you would say that this smells a bit like La Nuit Alone, the original Eau de Toilette, mixed with a touch of Dior Homme or Dior Homme Intense or anything like that that has iris. This, like a lot of fragrances in the La Nuit Alone and also Lome lines from Yves Saint Laurent, pretty much got overlooked. You know, it came out, people gave it a couple sprays, boom, boom, and they went like, nah, no thanks. But it's actually really, really, really good if we're talking about just the scent profile itself, pulling positive attention, compliments, and just being like this video is about sexy smelling. Yeah, yeah, that's sexy. It is more of an evening time fragrance, obviously, being in the La Nuit de Lome line. Not gonna be super cheap from discounters because it is a, from the La Nuit de Lome line. So, yeah. It stays true to the La Nuit de Lome line, though, and just being type of fragrance that people are gonna wanna smell. It's a it's a big attention grabber, assuming people can actually smell it off you. The performance is not fantastic, but with this style of fragrance we're talking about, you don't need fantastic projection. Smells great, overlooked, La Nuit de Lome, La Danse, first fragrance. Next up, we got a newer one. It is from Victor and Rolf, and it is Spice Bomb Infrared. Now, Spice Bomb Night Vision, Eau de Toilette, and Eau de Parfum didn't fare so well with a lot of people that do reviews because those ones kind of strayed pretty far from the Spice Bomb DNA and they went more to Invictus Town. You know, hello, sir, can I have some bubble gum with my scent, please? And that was night vision. Infrared keeps a lot of that sweetness, but it brings the spiciness back a bit too. So this one has cinnamon, but it really lays into that whole infrared part of the fragrance by having red fruits and, uh, you know, red pepper, I think it's pimento officially, and pink pepper. And then of course, cinnamon, you know, brings to, to mind red as well with like cinnamon gum, for example, and stuff like that. And then there's tobacco in here as well. So they really lean into the red part of infrared. That makes the fragrance come across, like I said, very sweet, but with enough spice this time where the Spice Bomb name makes sense. Spice Bomb Infrared has good performance. The projection is solid, longevity solid, even though it's not quite on par with the Spice Bombs of yore. The sweetness in that fragrance really helps it pull attention, it helps it get compliments, and it comes across very sexy. It's one that maybe I wouldn't go ultra heavy on just because you don't want it to potentially come across a little bit cloying if you're in close quarters, but that one really solid. Next up, let's do this one. Cavalli Womo from Roberto Cavalli. This whole line is actually solid. Womo, Womo Silver Essence, Womo La Note, which is like dang, close to impossible to find and probably my favorite of the bunch actually. Go figure. And Deep Desire. Those are all really solid. And one of the better things about this line is that while it's not underground, because Roberto Cavalli is not exactly, you know, a brand that nobody knows about, it is underground when you compare it to things like Dolce & Gabbana or Armani or Versace or Yves Saint Laurent or Dior or Chanel. Like everybody knows those, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but everybody knows those. When you say, hey, have you heard about Cavalli Womo? Chances are, unless you're a fragrance person, most people are gonna say, uh, I don't know what it is. Or maybe they'll be like Cavalli. That's the brand with the really tacky shirts with the big tigers and snakes and stuff. Nah, I don't like it. This one's got Violet, Honey Tonka, and Saffron. As I said, flies under the radar and at discounters, typically, 
really inexpensive. So this one makes good use of the violet. You get this floral touch, but you have a lot of sweetness in there contrasting it as well and some spices. Cavalli Womo Silver Essence would be a great choice if you want that DNA, the Cavalli Womo DNA, but you want it a little bit fresher and maybe more versatile because Silver Essence, frankly, is gonna work better in more situations than the original Womo will. But if we're talking just kind of a, a night in scent, then I think the original Womo or Deep Desire would be your best bet. Though Deep Desire does lend itself maybe ever so slightly to being more of a date night scent, like a, a date night out than this one. Cavalli Womo, overlooked, underrated, very cheap, and actually presentation looks good too. Up next, one of my favorites from John Barbados, Vintage. <clears throat> yeah. This is a really, really good scent, especially if you can find it from discounters for a good price. Tobacco suede, rhubarb, woods, and juniper, some of the notes in the fragrance. Performance, not great, but just like uh, La Nuit de Lome, L'Entence, doesn't really matter. So this has a lot of those notes that guys just love to lean into with masculine scents, with woods, tobacco, suede, leather. It's, it's really well done. The rhubarb provides this nice contrast off the top, gives you this tart little punch. There's, uh, I think, Kent's in there as well. Quince, Kent's, Quince. So that gives you uh, a little different take on citrus as well, mixing with that rhubarb. So it makes the, the opening feel a little bit different, a little more original, a little more unique before it really heads into the darker territory of the mid and base. I say darker territory like you're going into a cave. It's, it's actually just a really pleasant tobacco and suede. I love Barbados Vintage. I think it is a great fragrance for the price, especially when it's in that like 30 to $40 range. One of the best scents that you can buy. Uh, I really dig it. Up next, Histoire de Parfum, Ombre 114. Yeah, this one's kind of coming out of left field at you, you know, coming at you with Varvedo, Spice Bomb, and then Histoire de Parfum. This one you can find at twistedlily.com. Use that code GENTS10 for anything on the website. Save yourself 10% off or don't pay full retail. I don't care. I do care, actually. I don't need to save money. This stuff is really good. Assuming you like amber fragrances and assuming you like vanilla. If you don't, you, you probably won't have the same reaction that I do when I smell this. There's also benzoin in here, there's tonka. It is sweet, it's rich, it's decadent. It's a little bit powdery, but not too bad. It really just takes amber and elevates it as the focal point of the fragrance, even though there's a bunch of supporting notes here. All of the notes are in French. Well, we've got some thyme, I think. Rose, geranium, patchouli, sandalwood, cedar, vetiver, Musk, Noi de Muscade, Noi de Muscade? Translate. It's nutmeg. Noi de Muscade. Noi de Muscade. Nutmeg. This is though a really top notch amber fragrance. Love this stuff. And I think that it's fantastic for uh, like a cool evening where you just kind of stay in really warm, cozy and inviting. Now this next one that I want to show you is an attention monster compliment beast. It is not my personal favorite in the line, but if I were gonna pick one from the line just to wear because I wanted people to love the way it smelled, I'd pick this one. Zaro the Most Wanted. Cardamom, Toffee, and Amberwood, some of the notes in this scent right here. Got a similarity to Stronger With You from Emporio Armani, which means it also has a similarity to Stronger With You Intensely from Emporio Armani. This one gets so much love from people when I have it on. And actually there are some friends of mine, local friends that are big frag heads too. And they've told me, man, like I had the most wanted on. I went out to uh, just grab some stuff at the grocery store. I got a compliment from somebody in the grocery store that I don't know. I went to the cashier and they said I smelled nice. Like I just get nonstop attention from this fragrance. And even though it is pretty simplistic, and even though it does take ideas from other fragrances and tweaks it and makes it into its own, there's no denying that people love the way this stuff smells. I personally still gravitate toward Wanted by Night a little bit as far as just my personal taste, what I want to smell. But man, this stuff is killer. So yeah, you want some attention, check that out. Now this last one is the most obvious one. That's why I saved it for last. It's just the one, you know, it's just, it's just the one. 
the one Odapar Fum, bro. Amber, ginger, tobacco, cardamom, some of the notes in this fragrance. Basically takes the DNA from the original, the one Odapar Toilette, and improves it in just about every feasible way possible. It's like, uh, warmer, check, yes. Sexier, ooh, check, yes. Mm, a little bit sweeter, mm, sure. Performance, slightly improved. <laughs> Notice I didn't say it was great. Slightly improved. That fragrance though, still to this day, one of the biggest attention grabbers that I have ever personally worn. I wouldn't say it's, you know, number one of all time, but it's, it's up there. It holds its own against just about anything. That one is more well known for a date night fragrance, but who says, I guess, that a date night can't just be sitting at home on your couch with the person you care about. The one is, uh, it's kind of a modern classic at this point. It's that type of fragrance that should it get discontinued for any reason, then uh, years from now, people are gonna be clamoring over trying to get a bottle of the stuff. I will sell you my firstborn child for a bottle of the one Eau de Parfum. Just so they can go like, ha ha ha, don't make them like they used to, boys. Am I right? Psh, psh. In a hypothetical world where the one is discontinued. There we go, seven fragrances. These are all sexy. Sexy seal of approval. That's a real thing for sure. These are all great for just hanging out with uh, that special somebody wherever it is. It doesn't have to be, you know, a night in. It could be any time, except for in the middle of summer in a packed crowd. Maybe go for something different. All right, it's going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Thanks for all your support. You guys stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. Take care of yourselves. See you later.